good morning guys today we are going to discuss about uh, how can we create a streamlit app or any uh, kind of web app using free llms or any kind of hugging face models right so nowadays you have uh, you know that hugging face is a library where you can find variety of models that you can use uh, in whichever uh, use case you want but there was a uh, limitation until now so the limitation is basically that you are not able to use that unless and until you deploy it somewhere else on the server and use that endpoint for your uh, api integration and uh, website right so so today we are going to discuss about few things uh, the first one is the new type of llm that was Uh, introduced, which is Falcon. So you can find this Falcon chat demo for blog. So this is a uh, space, hugging face space, where you can demo it and see how it works. So let's see how can we uh, make use of this uh, Falcon. And uh, when I, I saw the paper and I uh, saw the results of it compared with other chat GPT or uh, other uh, type of uh, LLMs, let's say. Uh, vecuna or uh, llama etc right so falcon uh, is a free model and it performed better than other free llms so it is the highest right now uh, but i also heard that microsoft released a second uh, a new version of llm which is performing better than the chat gpt so we'll cover that in uh, maybe the next video if you guys want it so okay let's get started so here basically uh in the falcon right so let's say let me ask a few questions uh, here so i'll start with you let's say hi how are you uh, type of thing yeah so um i just want to ask this question like i want to buy few gifts for my sister who is 15 years old let's say and what can i buy for her okay let's start the conversation there and what are your interests what does she like music or fat or okay so uh she likes um like let's say anything works anything works uh but she likes green color right now you can see that it starts giving me a list of product ideas or gift ideas that you can give to your sister right so what does it say it says outfit or accessory which means like a apparel thing and phone case uh, nail polish uh, pen pen or uh, notebook okay book by our by her favorite author that's a good one um plant or flower routine uh, painting yeah that's a good one and makeup palette makeup palette is actually <laughs> very common that if you have a sister you will understand that this is very common and uh, phone cover yeah so i think the car or bike is the only odd one out here i mean uh, it is a which uh, if we talk about the other things like phone case not including the phone itself right it can it include phone case and phone cover but then include car or bike right so let me ask it to uh, give me some cheaper suggestions right let's see whether it can understand the uh, un- cheap here okay affordable perfect so you can it it can understand that cheaper means affordable in this case and it gave me uh, pretty much the same thing without the car and bike so you can see the car or bike has been removed here so it is saying very small small things like bookmark keychain uh, hair brush water bottle face mask stationery set candle candles and bracelets etc so these are very uh, small ones when compared to car and bike right so it can understand the uh, meaning and it can remove and understand that it has a common sense basically it has common sense that car or bike are very costly and it is not affordable okay so this is how basically the falcon works so i'm just going to uh, give this link in the description so you can uh, go and mess around with this uh it has a very good uh, understanding of um like even everything actually it can understand the 
context we're talking about it can understand the general ideas a human being can have and based on that it will uh, provide provide user uh, reply yeah so the falcon is uh, better than the other llms three llms out there so we just going to wait uh, till this comes out and uh, whether it opens or not let's see so the other one uh, i'm going to talk about in this video is basically how can we use any of hugging face models right without deploying on servers directly in our apps so during the development phase you can directly use uh, these apis like these hugging face model apis directly in your apps and integrate them uh, when you deploy it but mind uh, you have to keep in mind that whenever uh, like say the space of that particular hugging face model is removed you have to launch your own so unless and until that the space uh, exists there there is no uh, issue but whenever that was removed you have to start your own space where you have to buy uh, some kind of gpu for your server right so this free thing is going to be only for few uh months i don't know uh months or years that we can't decide that but if it is forever then congrats so let's get started here so basically i'm going to show you a small um uh, streamlit app so this is basically a streamlit app if you don't know how to write streamlit uh code uh, in python you can actually look at my uh video that my previous video where i have created an automatic video script Uh, writer using open ai open i mean the gpt 3.5 so you can see that and how you can also see how you how you can deploy it in the stream bit right so many of uh, of the people uh, like who can write stream bit don't know that they can deploy it on stream bit for free right you can do that uh, unless and until your um sizes are uh, your file sizes are under 1 gb you can actually do that so you can see, watch my previous video i'll uh, link that uh, in the description so that you can go through it and learn how can you deploy is extremely cool so let's go through this code once so where this code came from so basically uh, the first thing you see here is grade your client right so the streamlit is basically uh, the required one it's like a framework right so we import uh, streamlit and then grade your client so grade your client is basically i'll show you so i have taken this space so uh, this is one of the spaces right so i took this space so this is basically a gpt4 all uh, deployment but it is a 7 billion quantity so they say it's gpt4 all i mean gpt4 all if you know i already talked about that uh, gpt4 all sorry um, gpt4 all is basically a place where you can get all of the uh, free versions right free weights so these are all the free weights of uh, gpt models so you can just download them and use it simply that's it so it even pro provides you uh, documentation for everything uh, it even gives you snippets of uh, python code you can actually directly download uh, you can see let's say i took this and i can actually start downloading this see it started downloading so you can actually start downloading uh, all of your required uh what do you call it weights and just run on your uh, local so it also provides you an interface you can just download the interface and uh, use that so this is gpt for all and someone uh, used that gpt for all weights i think this is vicona uh, vicona 7 billion weights uh, it took from the gpt for all and they deployed here so you can actually let's say this i ask the same question uh give me few suggestions to give my sister who is 15 years 15 years old and likes green color let's say i, I put it the, put it in the same uh query and you can see that it takes around 43 seconds because it's running on actually uh, a bit uh, lower version of gpu uh, so as as it runs let's see how i used this uh, in my uh, streamlit app without right running on my local or deploying on server 
So what you can do is basically you see here, uh, let me close this. So you can see here it, it shows that use uh, via API. So if you click on use via API, you can see all the endpoints that you can take uh, from take up from this space. So you can see that it's hugginface.space, right? So this uh, you can also see this is the documentation for this endpoint. So this is the same endpoint that we are in. And you can just take this endpoint and paste it here, which creates a client. So what is a client basically? Client is a client is a way you uh, client is the way you can access all of the API endpoints of that particular space. So you give this endpoint here, and it can, the client will start uh, taking the predictions or can submit your uh, request there. So what you can do is you can have uh, you can see uh, uh, I mean you can go through all the unnamed endpoints here. So this is the code for this endpoint. So I'm using the same, but there is a bit of issue that sometimes you have to use predict and sometimes you, you need to use, let me show you. So what you have to do is sometimes, um, so sometimes you have to do this and uh, sometimes you have to take this and make this submit. And then when you want to, let's say, print out st dot, right? And then you need to do result dot outputs. So I've seen this in an uh, issue that was raised on that repo. And uh, somebody gave this, an this is an answer and that worked for a few of them. So if you find any issues running this or not uh, getting responses correctly for this, then you can use this and try uh, if it works, right? Cool. So that's it. Um, so basically, you're going to get the client. So this is uh, how the endpoints work. Even you can uh, take up in JavaScript. You just need to do npm uh, grade your client, right? Fine. So you need to uh, take this code, come here. You need to install the grade your client first of all. Perfect. And then there is a version here. I am showing a version. Uh, so it is basically this version. So the version is 0 0.2.1, 2.5. So this 0 0.2.5 is the one that working for me and mostly will work for you too. So please make sure that you are installing Gradio Client uh, with a version of 0 0.2.5. Cool then. So you take the client and this is just for information, like what is this uh, app about and what you can uh, do as an extra for this. So you take the client and you can just run client.predict and you can supply the prompt that was taken and from the text input, right? You can enter your request here and that prompt will be taken here. And fn index two is basically, if you go here, this is fn index one, this is index two, and index, this is index two basically. So you can see here, it represents the output in value eight. So there you can check what is value eight in the markdown component and so markdown component is basically when you see the readme of this particular git repo, you can find that value eight, what is value eight. So for me, it is value eight, it's like a uh, question. So howdy is basically the question that I'm going to ask. With fn index two, I'll get the correct response that I want. So fn index two it is, and st dot write the result. So this will result, uh, this will write the result on the uh, front end, right? So you can see that I gave this uh, question and it gave me the apt answer. It says a, a, a vibrant, uh, bright green scarf that can that she can wear with any of it. Actually, perfect uh, answer that was. And then an eye-catching piece of jewelry like pendant or earrings in her favorite shade of green. Okay, nice but costly. A pair of green shoes with trendy details and a comfortable fit. Perfect. So you can see that it's not only talking about the product itself; it's also talking some uh, talking about some extra. Com uh, I mean, additional additionality that should make should be met before you give that as a gift, right? It should be comfortable. It should have her favorite shade of green, right? Or she uh, the ones that she can wear with any outfit. So these are the things which makes that product useful for her, right? So this is actually, uh, if you think of it. Think about it, that's the way the model is understanding the context of the product, not the text in the product, okay? So then you can see the a fun stylish bag, okay, fun 
eco friendly and useful and it was cut down because i think the free version only supports till here i mean till these many tokens so cool so this is basically how uh, the gpt for all this one is this space is working so let's you so now we understand right now how you can get these apis and points and start working here so let's see how it is working on our end so this is basically the uh, this app running and the same request if i just give it here and it will start running as you saw here it took around 40 uh, seconds so let uh, i'm also assuming that it takes 40 seconds here um yeah let's just wait and see the request and after this i will show you about uh, how you can uh, talk of, i mean use the visual based models not only the text based models you can also use the visual based models such as stable diffusion let's say how you can use stable diffusion i will show you on javascript side because most of us let uh, let's be frank most of us work on react and other stuff rather than python based uh, websites right so if you are working on react or any other js based frameworks the first and most thing you want is to use an api endpoint in javascript not in python so i will talk about a uh, few models that you can use on javascript and how you have to use that on javascript so so it took around 40 seconds i think okay so it is taking some more time actually rather than fine yeah so meanwhile i'll uh, show you some acha okay so it's done now if you can see but if you see that it gave me a list i mean along with uh, the required what do you call it html tags right so these are like html tags this is p html tag and then a list of product starts right so it's like a green plants your sister might enjoy blah 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 and then green makeup that your uh, sister like eye shadow lipstick and etc fine green clothes like green is a great color for summer clothing so you can suggest summer clothes like swimwear sundress or accessories that are are in green color so these are like few uh, ideas that come from this uh, api directly to your app without you being deploy uh, you deploying the model or using any other server right you can just directly take it from the hugging face space so this is done then let's see how you can use these stuff in javascript so let me go to so this is basically you know the postman right where you can call javascript apis and see what are the replies like responses are right so i made a collection here a uh, stable diffusion collection so if you see this endpoint api inference hugging face dot co slash models this is common for every model that you see on hugging face but there are only few which doesn't support let's say vqs doesn't support this uh, right vqs is nothing but visual question answer system and that won't sub uh, those type of models doesn't support this yet but i think it is going they are going to uh, work on it hugging face i think they are working on it basically uh, yeah sorry uh, api inference hugging face yeah So, inference API hugging face. Um, there are few. Get started. Sorry, this is not the one. Post inference. Uh, is it not this? I've seen somewhere. Uh, where I forgot actually. Integrated libraries. Acha. Ha. This one. so here you can see all of the models that are integrated with uh, free inference apis right so you can see transformers are in uh, have been added but diffusers are not then you can see every single type of uh, models that were added but if you can see here uh, let's say a uh, stable baseline tree so this is a an implementation of reinforcement learning algorithms but it was not uh, implemented yet for the inference apis so you can uh, check out what are the things that are implemented what are not and uh, that is actually a very good way of knowing 
uh, what models I can use in JavaScript side and what are not. So here, let's say this was stable diffusion is implemented uh, for inference APIs. So you can actually go directly to the stable diffusion. So this is uh, comp with computer vision stable diffusion v14. So this is a good uh, inference API or good model actually you can use it anywhere in your app either it can be uh, Java, uh, JavaScript based or Python based right. So you can see that uh, uh, you can give directly at the text and it gives you the image as a response. So now how you can identify that whether it was deployed on three uh, inference API or not. So you can go to deploy every single time and when you click on it you can see that inference API three API for fast prototyping. So this if it is available like if it, this option is available that model is available for your inference API you can just go and add that endpoint so if you see this endpoint is nothing but this one you can just add this and you can just let's say uh, give the bearer and the authorization code so this authorization code you can get it for, uh, by logging in and taking your hugging face uh, access token and that's the same thing so you can just paste your hugging face access token here and it will start working instantly so it's a post api and uh, the other things required are the key would be inputs and your text prompt so here i just said happy panda on top of the bamboo tree and you can see that it generated a pure uh, a good looking panda of course uh, on a bamboo tree so the, i mean uh, it's not only about this model let's say i took um, let's say stability AI. Stability AI is having a 2.1, uh, which is a bigger version uh, of the other stable diffusion that we saw. You can just take this endpoint and you can just paste it here and do a send. And you can see that it generated a new uh, image with the same prompt. And this is the different model. This is a different uh, model and different repo rather than the one we used previously, right? You can do uh, whatever you want, like uh, imagination is the limit here. So you can just search, I mean, you can just give the uh, image and it will start generating the, sorry, if, if you just start give the text here, it will start generating the image. So that's it. Uh, I think with this, if you want to use it on um, like somewhere in your app, you can just go here, click on code and you can export in whichever format you want. You want you can, if you want a curl, you can export curl. If you want a JavaScript fetch, you can export as a fetch. I think most of them, most of you guys use fetch, uh, I think. So you can just copy paste from here and just directly use it in a, a React or any other JavaScript based application. For Python based application, it's the same thing. If, if you want to use this endpoint, you can use that. Or you can also use directly the client that I talked about. You can just give the space uh, for this client. So if you want to use any space, you can just come here, spaces using this particular model. And you can see that there are 700 plus spaces that you can uh, use, right, for your Python based apps. And if you want to deploy it, I already told you, I made a video on that. You can just go and you uh, look at that video. So that's it guys for this. Uh, if you uh, like enjoy watching this type, this type of content, please uh, subscribe and like the video and do share it with your colleagues or friends or uh, family members who are really, really, really into deep learning. Uh, I'll be posting more uh, videos based on this type of useful uh, code based solutions for your current implementation. Let's say you want to implement some kind of app, you want to implement some kind of website, but you don't know how to do it uh, without a server, without a, without simply using a penny from your, uh, from you, right? If you want to do that, please uh, stay tuned. I will be posting more videos every single week. And yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.